Hi there, Coach I.M. Nava here once again. In today's video, we're going to analyze the one of the best games in the ongoing and running computer chess championship in the chess.com. It is between Lila Chess Zero and Stockfish. But uh, let me read the description of both giant computers nowadays. First of all, Lila Chess Zero. It says rating is 3848 with latest version updated January 8, 2025. Developed by Gary Linscott and many others. So that's why the country is international. So they are collaborated. Lila Chess Zero is an open source implementation of ideas described in DeepMind's Alpha Zero paper. She runs on GPUs or sometimes CPU rather than TPUs, but is the closest thing to Alpha Zero we have. Okay, she has won several major computer chess championship events and remains one of the strongest engines competing at CCC. Okay, in chess.com. So they have always the running computer chess championship to test the capability of computers. All right, now let's go with the Stockfish International also. And uh, with the rating of 3888, latest version updated January 8, 2025, developed by the Stockfish developers. Okay, and this is the current development build of Stockfish. It uses both neural network and handicraft evaluation. This is the current development build of Stockfish. It uses both neural network and handcrafted evaluation in a hybrid approach. Stockfish is unsalted fish, especially cod, dried by cold air and wind on wooden racks. The engine name reflects the ancestry of the engine. Third Rumstad is Norwegian and Marco Costalba is Italian. And there is a long history of stockfish trade from Norway to Italy, created 2020. Okay? Those are the descriptions of this both supercomputer engines nowadays. Okay? So let's proceed with their best game. Stockfish in the white pieces and played c4. Lila played e5. Okay? The main line of the English opening. Knight f6, g3... Okay, a normal approach with Fianchetto system. But Lila chose the interesting line, Bishop e7. But according to the database, um, the popular lines are d5 and Bishop b4. Okay, those are the common choices of human play. But uh, let's proceed with Bishop e7, Bishop g2, castles, Knight f3 threatening the pawn on e5 and then d6 to support it. So here, uh, if black plays e4, so simply white would play knight g5 and uh, the pawn on e4 uh, will fall, okay? So it's a premature move. So black has to play d6 or knight c6. d4, okay? Stockfish strikes at the center to have a wider control of developments. e takes d4, knight takes d4, and c6 to control the d5 square. And then castles, rook e8, okay, so uh, developments and preparing to control the e-file. e4, okay, it looks like the Sicilian Maroxi bind, who controls the d5 or who binds the d5, okay. But a5 has been played and that was the novelty of this game. Because the old lines are bishop f8 and bishop g4, okay, those are the common lines. But uh, a5, novelty, let's go back, h3 to protect the g4 square, and then bishop f8, queen c2, okay, simply to support thoroughly the pawn e4, and then knight to a6, okay. Uh, Lila detects the queen on c2, and he wants to annoy the queen, and uh, maybe uh, preparing to play knight b4 to threaten the queen c2. But Stockfish ignores the coming knight b4 and played bishop e3, a simple development, and then knight b4. Then goes back to d1. And knight a6. Yeah, so that is questionable for me. Because, um, um, hmm? what is the best move here? <laughs> knight a6. Okay, maybe uh, he wants to, or she wants Lila is a girl, as 
based on the description. Maybe she wants to play knight a6 to prevent the coming a3. But a little bit loss of tempo, as I think. Uh, knight a6, g4, all right, uh, intending to play g5 to annoy, threatening the knight on f6. Knight c5, okay, threatening to capture the e4 and then simply goes back to c2 to support it. And a4, okay, the idea of a4 is to grab the queen side space having extra square for example queen a5 yeah something like that and then rook ad1 okay to focus the rook towards the center and uh, to pressure the d6 as well and at this point white has a simple tactic knight takes pawn b takes c6 and imagine bishop takes knight okay black is not able to to retake the bishop there because of the pin okay so, and then Alila simply played queen a5, okay, to remove from the dangerous pin there, and then f4, okay, to focus uh, towards the center, uh, look at the massive pawns there, and uh, with g5, e5 later on, and then h6 to support a little bit the g5, and king h1, okay, uh, prevention, a prophylactic move, uh, to move away from the potential attacks on the diagonal yeah something like that or even uh, white has the rook g1 coming uh, in order to support the idea to bomb the king side okay to attack the king side now let's go back and then proceeds with queen b4 threatening the pawn c4 okay but he doesn't care okay so uh, he played the very timing g5 to put pressure and then knight h5 okay lila detects the weak g3 square and here surprisingly ignores again by uh, stockfish okay he let the uh, lila to play knight g3 and he does that move and king h2 knight takes rook rook takes f1 and queen takes c4 Okay, Lila doesn't like the pawn to capture, okay? Because uh, it helps the white to attack the black king if the possible uh, opens up the G file, okay? So that's why he picked up the C4 pawn and then rook G1, okay? Now, so let us see the coming strong pressure there. Now F5, considering the bishop is pinned by the rook, so f5 threatening the pawn e4 and then stockfish played simply bishop f3 what is the idea maybe the queen uh, will slide to g2 to double up or to triple up the pressure towards g7 and then rook takes e4 surprisingly by lila but simply capture the g7 first and then rook takes bishop okay okay but wait huh what about if Black would simply capture the pawn g7. So it says the queen slides to g2, threatening the mate, and then queen f7 to support it, and with knight takes e4. Okay, so, and white will gain the material advantage. But uh, let's look on another one. What if rook e7 to avoid the loss of the rook and to maintain and to support the bishop, and then white will play knight to d5. Wow. Very nice. Attacking the rook there. Black is not able to capture the knight. Sacrifice because of bishop takes and then double. Losing the queen. Okay. So knight d5 and then let's say rook f7. Then knight to b6. Still with double attack. And simply wins for white. Okay. Now let's go back. So here. That's why uh, Lila chose... Rook takes bishop. And then bishop d5 first. Wow. Incredible move. Incredible move. Brilliant move. What a brilliant move. Okay. Forced to take it. Then takes with the promotion of rook. <laughs> Why not queen? <laughs> but it's just the same, I think. So king takes f8. And then queen g2. Stockfish blocks forcefully the diagonal so that the queen is outplaced 
and uh, not able to rescue the Black King there. Okay, what an idea. What an amazing idea. And now, Bishop to E6. Okay, to protect the G8. But let us go further to clarify things. What if Queen takes Knight? Okay, then White will slide the Queen to G8. King E7. And then we have another attack. Rook G7. Check. So, yeah, it's about... Losing the queen or to accept the checkmate. Okay, with queen of seven. Okay, so that's clear. So let's go back. That's clear. So that's why Lila chose to play bishop e6. But simply queen g7 check. King e8 and knight cb5. Yeah, that's another strong deep move and very accurate okay because if i were the white pieces here i am thinking about check there and then followed with the rook g7 but i think after queen h8 checking e7 rook g7 check and black could simply blocks with the bishop yeah something like that <laughs> uh, but this move knight cb5 not only by extra support for the knight on d4, but also to attack the d6 with c7 square. So there's a lot of vital attacks are coming with that uh, knight b5. And now, Lila played queen to d3. So yeah, she really wants to have some counter attack with rook takes h3. Queen h8 check. Bishop to g8. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then simply captures with the rook. Now, uh, let's go back first uh, to clarify things. What about king e7? And it says queen h4 check. Okay. And let's go back again to e8 square. And then knight c7 check. Okay, forced to play king d7. And then rook g7 check. Okay. So the role of knight on d4 is very high. Okay. In demand <laughs> because the black king cannot escape to c6 square because of the knight now rook g7 and uh okay uh, bishop f7 simply captures it uh what about king c8 and then simply queen h8 and becomes mate very soon okay now okay so uh, that is clear so let's go back with the actual move has been played bishop to g8 by Leela. And simply captures with the rook. Runs to d7. Rook g7 check and covered with the rook. Then we have rook takes e7. King takes e7. And queen g7 check. King e8. Okay, knight c7 check. King to d8. And wow. All right. So check. Takes, takes. King e8, of course. King c8 uh, will fell to uh, queen c7 mate. Now king e8. And then check. Wow. Long range calculation by Stockfish. Okay. Runs to b5 by force. Queen takes b7 check. King c4. So what do you think? If you were the white here, uh, you're gonna capture the rook there? Nope. Because of the coming queen e2 check. So there's a lot of Checks there are coming. So you have to consider the things, possibilities. Okay. So queen c6 check, king b4, and then queen takes d6 check first. Mm -hmm. And then king a5 force. Because if the black goes again to uh, c4, then met by uh, queen c5 mate. Okay. So let's go with the king a5, and then we have queen c7 check. King b5, then queen b7 check, king a5, and this is the time that you you could uh, snack the rook on a8 with tempo check. Wow, that is a delicious snack. Then king b6, then we have queen b8 check, king c6, queen c7 check, king b5, queen c5 check, king a6, and then knight c7 check, forced by king b7, and simply... Captures the pawn on d5. And then we have the force exchange of the queens. And king c6. 
knight to c3. Okay? So, this is the 54th move after knight c3. And then, ended the game on move 68 with mate. Okay? But, uh, as a referee, <laughs> like in boxing, I have to stop the fight because of the massive bleeding and fatality of the black pieces. <laughs> okay? White is... Uh, huge advantage and super winning. So, I have to stop the game. So, uh, Stockfish wins the game. But they said, according to the articles and rumors, that Alpha Zero Deep Mind and Lila Cha Zero are the same. Do you believe in that? But we want to see the game of Alpha Zero Deep Mind versus the latest version updated by Stockfish. And that is exciting match between them okay thank you so much guys i hope you learned and informed this video and uh, if you do like this video please have a thumbs up and for those who haven't subscribed yet in my channel please do subscribe and click the notification bell as well thank you very much i'll see you next time